Rear World Vision systems often use multiple cameras for better robustness such as AR VR headsets, autonomous drones and cars. However, adding more cameras greatly complicates the design of vision algorithms. In this work, we aim at designing a general SLAM system that adapts to arbitrary multi-camera setups. We want our system to be fully generic and require no tuning or code modification, even when the camera configurations are very different. To this end, we revisit some common SLAM building blocks and propose several novel designs, including an adaptive initialization scheme, an information theoretic keyframe selection method, and a voxel-based map. As shown in the video, with our contributions, the resulting SLAM system can adapt to different cameras automatically with no manual adjustment in the code or parameters. Our adaptive initialization scheme determines the most suitable initialization method for the camera systems. For any two cameras, we sample the camera frustum of one camera, project the sample points to the other, and determine whether the camera should triangulate points directly or initialize separately. This method generalizes to arbitrary camera models and frustum shapes. Moreover, this process only needs to be computed offline once. In keyframe-based SLAM, a keyframe is selected when the map is not sufficient for tracking. New landmarks are then triangulated at new keyframes. The standard approach is to use a combination of heuristics as keyframe criterion. This approach is typically not easy to tune and does not generalize to multi-cameras since the heuristics such as the number of tracked features and camera motion are specific to the setup. Instead, we propose to use the localization uncertainty with respect to current map as the only criteria. Here, we plot the negative localization uncertainty with respect to the time. As we can see, when the localization quality drops below the threshold that is estimated online, a new keyframe is selected and the localization quality increases. Our method directly characterizes the localization quality and thus does not depend on camera-specific heuristics. In the tracking of the current frame, one of the standard practices is to collect all the landmarks from the overlapping keyframes and try to match them in the current frame. However, these landmarks are not necessarily visible in the current frame. And with more cameras, this approach quickly gets complicated and inefficient. How can we do better? Let's forget about the keyframes. In our voxel-based map, we discretize the space into 3D voxels and get the visible landmarks from the voxels inside the camera field of views directly. The query of the voxels is done efficiently via voxel hashing. Since our method works with the 3D space directly, it is independent of the camera configurations as well. In this video, we can see that with overlapping keyframes shown on the left, the retrieve landmarks are distributed in a much larger area than the camera field of view. And with our method, we retrieve only the landmarks in the camera frustum precisely. We integrated the three modules in a state-of-the-art visual inertial SLAM pipeline and tested on various camera configurations, including standard monocular and stereo setups, different combinations of them, and multiple fisheye stereo pairs. We validated that the proposed approach generalizes to all these camera configurations with similar performance to the original pipeline on standard monocular and stereo cameras. More importantly, our pipeline is fully generic, 
we can use the same parameters and code for all these camera combinations. In this video, we show the performance of our pipeline on three fisheye stereo pairs mounted on a car. As we can see, our pipeline handles the information from all the cameras simultaneously to provide reliable motion estimation. To summarize, we propose several novel designs of common slam building blocks which prefer principled methods over heuristics. The result is a generic slam pipeline that works for arbitrary camera setups with no need of camera specific tuning or code modification. We believe our method can greatly simplify the current design paradigm of SLAM and is a valuable step towards a universal SLAM system.